Hey, what's up, everyone? Think of intense swordplay mixed with badass gunfights. We're diving into a world where your bun with allies can make or break the game. The betrayal is just around the corner. Plus, we're going to be taking a look at the counter spark system. On top of this, we're also going to be able to take a look at the different type of weapons from katanas, spears, melee weapons, and also ranged weapons like the foreign firearms. As a Ronin, you will battle foes utilizing this two type of weapons. First, let's take a back seat and find out what the Bakamutsa era is. This is what makes Rise of the Ronin combat system. This was an era where you saw the Samurai's dominance modern Japan. This is going to be a huge influence on what the game you're going to be progressing, the different type of weapons you're going to be using. So that is why it's very important knowing this because now we're going to be diving into the following. First, we're going to be taking a look at the different type of weapons that we're going to be able to use in this game. Next, we're going to jump into the combat system that we're going to be able to see the different type of combat styles. And after that, we're going to dive into the different bonds. So if you like how that sounds, a like is appreciated. Consider subscribing to the channel as I will be bringing to you even more Rise of the Ronin. Now, speaking of the weapons, Rise of the Ronin showcases a fascinating array of weapons you're going to go from traditional katanas each of them has their own of course historical significance and craftsmanship and then we're going to be moving into the raw power of the early firearms which began the change of the warfare that we are now living in first we're going to start off with the sword a weapon with a good balance of attack power and speed at the same time this is going to be usually or typically your katana this is if you guys know in every single game that a katana exists it's one of the most overpowered weapons that you're going to be able to use next we're jumping into the spear a weapon with excellent reach and attack range this is going to be a very overpowered weapon next we have the two swords a powerful weapon which is also used by the main schools later into the video i will talk to you about all the different schools because all the different weapons that you're going to be able to use are going to be influenced by the different schools that you're going to be able to choose or acquire as you are leveling up in the game the bayonet is a weapon that combines melee and long range attacks. The Yushio sword is a weapon that specializes in attacks from the air itself. As you are able to see here, it's going to be one of the most useful weapons that you're going to be able to use. The saber is a weapon with excellent speed. If you want to be a speed demon, this is going to be the weapon that you want to use. The Otashi is somewhat of another katana weapon, but this one is excellent. You're able to get that long reach weapon, but at the same time, you have that nasty attack power that is going to make you very invincible. Now, the Naginara, this weapon is just too crazy not only you're going to be feeling like you just had a rebel because you're going to get that energy and you're going to do different type of combination of attacks which they're going to be performing really fast and then last we're going to have the large zord a weapon with greatest attack power is going to be slow but it's sure going to be dealing a tremendous amount of damage. Now we move on to the different type of long range weapons. We also have bows, we have firearms that of course, if you are using a bow, you're going to be very strategic. You're going to be stealthy, but if you don't want that, you also can pick up the firearm, which is going to be very powerful, but at the same time, very noisy and is going to give you away 
by other enemies. Now you're also seeing this in the different type of trailer and that is the grappling rope. This is going to be one of the most strategic things that you're going to be able to implement in your fighting style. And talking about fighting styles, let me know in the comment section below out of all those different type of styles that I just mentioned, which is going to be the one you're going to be using first. Now, the grappling rope has its advantages. One of them is that one, you can get closer to an enemy really fast. And two, you can also attract the enemy towards you, which gives you that advantage. But at the same time, you're going to be at your enemy's mercy. Now let's move into the heart of the game. And that is the fighting styles. It's not just about swinging your sword or just smashing your button. No, guys, this game has its way. You're going to be able to, like I mentioned before, learn the different type of schools. And now let me show you a few of them of what I'm talking to you about. One of the combat styles is going to be the Mumio style. And I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing any of them. This one is originated in the Kurusu clan from the Unknown Master. It is a versatile martial art combat style performed in pairs. Those who master the style were called the Village Edge. And then we also have the Hokushin Ido style. This style is a swordsmanship founded by the Shushaku Shiva in the 19th century. It is used to overwhelm foes with a series of attacks. Their teaching is rational, emphasizes on the mastery of techniques through training performance by attacking and also defending at the same time. And then we have Jagyu Shinkao style. This is a military type of style. This was the first shotgun ever generations of shotguns and also of the takuawa clan are also known that we're studying this type of swordsmanship as you are able to see there you are using a sword but at the same time it's a shotgun which is really crazy overall those are some of the combat styles at this moment of course we don't have all of them the game hasn't released, but it sure sounds like the different type of combat styles is something that everyone is going to be immersing. As we are able to see here right in the video, there's going to be about five different type of schools or different type of combat styles that you're going to be able to learn. Now, how are you able to learn? And this is where we're going to be talking about the different bonds. The bond are the different allies that you're going to be making a bond with. As you are seeing here, at the left side, we have seven different allies that you have in your arsenal. Now, the great thing about it is that each of them are going to come with their different type of abilities, which is going to be strength, dexterity, um, also intelligence, and also the bond label that you're going to be able to see. Now, if we're able to take a look at the right side, we're also able to see the ability, the bonuses that each of them are going to be bringing, which is called the bond bonus. As you're able to see here, each of them has their unique acquainted, friendly, also inseparable, and also faded. Some of the allies don't have much, but some of them come really packed with different styles. And that is how you're also going to be able to learn different combat styles and you're going to be able to utilize them. One awesome thing that the game does, which the developers have mentioned, is that at any moment, if you are in a fight, you can switch your player to a different type of ally and use that ally and its own special bond bonuses to be able to fight against other enemies, which I think personally is something cool that's going to be introducing into the game the counter spark system is just what a parrying system is in other games when using this and effectively using your martial skills you're going to be able to lower the maximum ki which is going to be able to help you defeat any enemy a lot easier as an example you're seeing here right in the video when you do a perfect counter spark 
you're going to be able to stun your enemy, which gives you that window of opportunity that you're going to be able to inflict a lot more damage. And in return, you're going to be able to reduce their maximum KI. And there you go. That is everything you need to know about the different combat systems, weapons, and also the different styles that you're going to be able to see in Rise of the Ronin. Let me know in the comment section below if this is a game that you're going to add to your library. If not, let me know if you're going to pass on it. Once again, if you made it this far to the video, a like is appreciated and consider subscribing to the channel as I'll be bringing to you more Rise of the Ronin and I'll see you on the next video.